Welcome to today's demonstration of Prognosis EMR, an award-winning EMR solution. My name is Mike White, and I'm with Octave Solutions, a full-service sales support and implementation provider of Prognosis EMR throughout the United States. Today's short topic is focused on the physician's home screen. With that being said, we'll go ahead and pass my credentials into the Prognosis EMR login. Once logged in, Prognosis takes me directly to my home screen and my home screen gives me a bird's eye view of everything going on in my medical practice. For example, on the top left here is my inbox. My inbox is divided into four key areas. System, user, telephone, and to-do. The system messages are messages generated from prognosis or messages coming from other systems into prognosis. An example might be during an encounter, I may order a lab test. I may order radiology for a patient. Those messages flow out of prognosis to the appropriate uh, lab, and the patient goes to the lab, takes their tests. The results are then sent back electronically, automatically into prognosis. So not only do the lab results come back into prognosis, they come back in and an email so I can review the results, as well as going back into the patient's medical record. So there's a complete copy of everything that's transpired along the lines of that patient. The user messages are messages typically generated by my clinical staff or they're messages that may come in from my patient portal. It's not uncommon for my patients to log into the patient portal that's a part of Prognosis EMR and request a prescription refill or simply ask a question or want to review some lab results. The telephone messages are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I may have a, a telephone service as well. So after hours, I may get uh, one or two messages off my service and those will show up in my email system. <clears throat> and then finally, my to-do list. And my to-do list is a uh, follow-up capability, a simple calendaring system that allows me to set up uh, future appointments and uh, activities and be able to manage those without uh, losing track of uh, everything that's going on. If I click on my inbox messages, this shows me all of my messages in those four categories. Now at the same time, I may say, you know, I really only want to see my alerts. Show me any kind of alerts. And we'll see the A under the type here, the message type, that these were definitely uh, uh, system generated alerts. And there might be a number of different reasons for those alerts. Also, I might want to see, you know, just show me my normal email. This could be messages from other doctors, referring doctors and so forth. Show me any kind of notifications. Uh, results of lab tests, uh, lab tests sent out, uh, any telephone calls, show me my to-do list, and so forth. And then again, any urgent messages that I might need to respond to. This also allows me to uh, compose new emails, see what uh, emails that were sent out, compose new ones, and then also I can attach uh, images. I can attach lab results and other things uh, into those images that uh, is pertinent to that message. Uh, we'll go back to the home screen here. The other thing on the home screen that I want to mention is that it's divided into two key tabs. One is my appointment tab that we're seeing now. The other one is my open encounter tab. My open encounters are essentially equivalents of having a paper chart on my desk. The reason they're open could be uh, many. Uh, I may have a lab test I'm waiting for the results on. I may have gotten called away uh, in the middle of an encounter, or whatever the case might be. But these are open encounters that um, I eventually will need to uh, follow up on and close once I get the information that I need. The nice thing is that nothing falls through the cracks. The other thing is, is to pull up a medical record takes literally less than a second. I simply click on the patient and I'm instantly in their electronic medical record, right looking at their face sheet. And their face sheet gives me a bird's eye view of everything going on with that particular patient. So it saves me a lot of time and a lot of paper being able to have these uh, electronic medical records. Let's go back to the appointments again. And we'll just talk about these columns briefly. Pretty self-explanatory as well. This shows me when my patients are scheduled to arrive. It shows me what patients have arrived and when. The uh, icon here, if this is red, it's an indicator that there's still some forms that need to be completed by the patient. Yellow means that everything that the patient requires has been uh, completed and input into the system. I can see the patients that I'm scheduled to see today and the reasons that the patients are coming in. I can also see if the patients have been checked into a room and then what's going on with the patient. This is a message from my clinical staff upon check-in. In this case here, this patient is a severe cough. Another one arrived early and is in a room waiting for a doctor. And I have another patient in with a doctor or a physician assistant uh, currently getting their vitals. 
And then I have my copay icons. This shows me what the patient's copay is and what copay has been collected from the patient. It also serves as a reminder for my clinical staff that when this patient checks out to collect the copay at the appropriate amount. The calendar on the right here allows me to see what I'm doing tomorrow or Friday or next week, next month, as well as what did I do yesterday or earlier in the week. So it's a very quick way to recall old appointments or see what's coming on the schedule. Finally, the preferences tab. The, my preferences allows me to completely tailor the prognosis EMR solution. And this is one of the things that sets us apart from the other EMR solutions on the market today. During an implementation, we will tailor the system for you based on your specialty or specialties. But you further have capabilities to configure and fine tune the system so it will actually save you time going through an encounter than if you were using a paper chart. Uh, for example, I can tailor uh, the different kinds of uh, tests. When I'm in a history of present illness, I might have certain templates for certain tests that I want to capture information on. So I can create all of those. I can tailor the existing tests and I can create my own. Another good example of the uh, tailoring system might be with the, uh, the CPT and the ICD codes. This allows me to create a short list of my most commonly used CPT codes and then be able to recall those in my E&M coding and other areas where they're used. So there's a lot of functionality in this uh, package and it's a very plain, simple user interface which is uh, to its advantage because the learning curve is greatly reduced. It's a simple yet powerful solution. I would encourage you to watch more in-depth demonstrations of Prognosis EMR as we dive deeper into a patient encounter, e-prescribing, E&M coding, progress notes, and more. You can schedule your own personalized demonstration by visiting OctaveSolutions.com. Thank you for watching.